Hi, everybody. It's Thursday, February 1st. Great to be with you today. Hope you had a great day yesterday. Um, wonderful uh, text we're looking at, especially when we consider that it's Jesus' uh, example to us. It's, it's, it's how he taught his disciples and how we learn what it means, how we we live our lives in flesh and blood reality uh, as, as a follower of Jesus, and, and in that then become the light of the world. And yesterday we focused on, on his uh, authoritative words. They stand, huh? Even against all darkness, his words stand. Uh, and then um, today now we're going we're gonna to go on. They're, they're, and, and there's some great stuff here. So as soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told Jesus about her. So here's darkness again. Um, sickness. She's so sick she's in bed. Uh, Peter is is concerned about her. He he uh, he says to her. He says to Jesus, "She's so sick. She's in bed." So so what what does Jesus do here? Um, he he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. So again, Jesus is the light of the world, right? He he is uh, he he heals, and he'll heal all of us into eternity, and and he'll heal us here and now uh, in his will, right? Uh, so she's healed. But what does she do? And because finally each of us is healed in him right now, uh, in the depth of our soul, the, our sin-sick soul, we're healed, right? And, and he brings us health as he will as well, right? What does she do? What, what does it mean to be the light of the world when we're healthy, huh? And it says here, the fever left her and she began to wait on them. What a great example, huh? You healthy? Be a servant to those around us. And then it finishes up. It says this. That evening after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon possessed. The whole town gathered at the door and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. So they all came and, and in a couple of, uh, just so there's no question, in a couple of parallel passages talking about the same thing in a couple of the gospels, it says he healed all the sick. Healed all the sick and they brought in the demon possessed and he healed all those who were demon possessed. Um, this is what we do. You know, we, we talk about inspiring hope. Uh, but we bring his touch of love and healing into the lives of others. We do that in body, soul, mind, and spirit, right? And, 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 uh, and, and his spirit is with us, uh, and his spirit is powerful. Uh, and, and so this, this is what it brings, means to bring his light into the world. We, we speak his wonderful truth. Um, we understand that it's greater than any evil, and we stand up and push back on evil, and we always bring his hope into the hurt of the world. Uh, that's what Jesus did. And notice here, every single one he healed, every single one who a demon possessed, he cast them out. <laughs> he is the one with authority. He has total victory. He died, he rose again. Huh? And, and so we, we are with the disciples. It's always a they. We're never alone. We just follow Jesus and he's with us. And, and every day we learn more and more how, how to be there for people in this flesh and blood reality. Never, um, uh, ne ne never thinking that, that somehow uh, just being kind to somebody is, is the best uh, as opposed to also showing them Jesus. But we show them Jesus in our kindness. We speak the truth to them about Jesus. And, and we know the, the, the authoritative power that is with us, his alone. And, and so we, we, we grow and, and, and live in this reality, assured of Jesus' presence. All authority is given to me. I'm with you always, he says, as we look to follow him and be the light of the world. Uh, would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, we thank you for, um, for your wonderful example to us and, and the proclamation of your wonderful power and truth and wisdom and life. You are the light of the world. We pray that as you empower us to bring your light into the world and to live it out in our lives, we might so reflect your light in our lives that we too might be declared to be the light of the world because we reflect your greater light. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you Sunday, God willing, in the next week. Bye-bye.